priests. There, there are no more priests. Right, I know, because it says, how are you to, you know, no you really couldn't. We are all, right. Everyone's a priest. Everyone's a priest. Right. No one's a priest. So pretty much what you have for me, if anybody does go and say, no, I believe the creator blessed me to be a priest. Fine. You go ahead and believe that. I'm not going to sit there and say that you have or not. But I'm not going to, but I'm going to go by what well, I have my own discernment. And if you try to tell me an authority, I'll say no, or I agree. But I'm not going to just say you shouldn't be a priest. You see what I'm getting at? I see what you're getting at. And uh, it's only because of what I know what Owaspi teaches. That's all I would say. I say, Owaspi says there are no more priests. So I would just, I would probably, public, I would just say to them, face, you know what? Sure. How can you say that? It says right here, no more priests. So why, do you, why are you saying that? So like, what I if I had a different connotation of what a priest was? So the priests in Israel, they were the lowly people, the people that um, uh, the kings and priests were the Levites. In other words, the one who were imperfect of the flesh. So the priests were the lowest, the most humble of the group. Yeah. Well, well, but uh, what do I have to do? Should I get out the, break out the quotes? I'm not saying it says no more priests. So why do we have to have this? Semantic, play the yeah. semantic games where we're saying, well, it's not the same priest that you imagine. I have a new definition of what a priest is. Oh, then why do you have to call yourself a priest? Well, I just want to do it. It makes me feel more dedicated. I said, okay. But, I mean, just be a person. Be who you are. You're, you know, guy, guy is guy, I'm you, and you are you. And we don't have to have all these titles attached to our names. It's, yeah, it's I agree just, with that. It's contradictive. It's just about counterproductive. Like our our progress should be uh, our um, meaning in life should be the progress of how we've been dealing with obstacles in our life, how we've been uh, you know glorified through the suffering that is put on us and that we've been tested by. That's a good thing to say. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing to say. I, I, that's, that's the kind of thing I want to hear. <laughs> that's what I want to hear. Uh, whatever, yeah. every, guy, every, until we start arguing, guy, uh, everything you said was totally wonderful, okay? <laughs> Great. I have no, this is the only, the, guy, if there's anything we disagree with, there's probably, what we just talked about, that's the only thing we have different opinion of, is where you're kind of going to say, well, let them walk, let them do what they want. But I'm saying, no, I'm going to speak out against it. And, uh, but everything else, I think we're probably right there. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Sure. Maybe, we, maybe sure. that's not true, but I have a feeling uh, would... it's, we're right. We don't disagree about much else. Yeah. Well, no, no, I, I say we probably agree. And I, I went to Occupy Wall Street, you know, while I was a faithist, a young faithist then, I guess, I'm not that I'm old faithist now, but, you know, younger than I, I was. Sure. And I, I found out. And I found that I'm not an activist and I'm to be, and I'm pacifist, you know, I won't be violent. Uh, I might try to restrain someone, maybe even put a sleeper hold or something, you know, comes to whatever. But uh, mm -hmm. primarily um, I, I've been trying to practice having faith, you know, and, and live in that. And it seems everything falls into place in a very good way. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I, I don't yeah. like, you know, so, yeah. yeah, it says in the one speed, you know, that you will, you'll have good fortune kind of thing. And I, I, not even in that way. I'm, I'm terrible, no, terrible at quoting, you know. I think it's great that your life is unfolding the way it should be. And um, you're a good example for all of us, you know. And um, I hope, I hope uh, more people, I hope you continue what you're doing. And you you figured life out, basically. And, uh, well, no one's half the battle, G.I. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that On the other one? hand, walking the walk and talking the talk or whatever. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. So, I mean, I, I keep, I'll keep drifting back. See, I'm a teacher by profession, so I feel like the youth need to be taught what you're, what you, the principles that you've been saying. Okay, I think that's what they need to know. Liberty. Yes. Take care of themselves and have discernment. Yeah. Yes. 
yes. Yeah, that's what I would like our youth today to be taught. But I don't want them to be taught by someone who will start talking about the tablet of Biene and hmm. uh, say that you've got to study this symbol and meditate on it for 30 minutes every night and then pray to Sipenta Armish. Never heard that. But, uh, you know. <laughs> I heard it. Joan Greer. It wasn't just me either. Joan. Yeah, Joan um, is what I mean. Not Mary, Joan. Uh, anyway. I mean, you know, she. I, I, it's strange that, I mean, it, how, how long ago was this? Because I've read plenty of things. Three years ago. Said. About three, three, four years ago. Three years so ago. They must have, again, I, I just have just been either kept from this purposely or, or you know. You've never heard it. When, no, did you, when, when did you go out to Molina? 2013, 14. That's quite a while ago. Seven years, six years. Yeah, six, seven years ago. Okay, so the, I didn't really, we were praying together. At that time, Joan Greer and uh, Vernon mm -hmm. and Peter Hardigens and a few other faiths, Leslie Alexander, uh, Sonny Holmes, Susan Griffin, we were praying together every week for about an hour, an hour and a half on the internet, one of these conference calls. So that's how I got to know them. I got gotcha. you. And I have really, and if you told, if you asked me how did all those, how did all our talk together go, I'd say great. We got along great. I, I love them. Right. I love, I'm going to say right now, I like Joan Greer as a person. <laughs> I think, I honestly, if you ask me, is she my friend? Uh, she was my friend, I'm sure of it. We were friends, but I had to walk away. I had to walk away because she wanted me to go somewhere I didn't want to go. She told me I had to do certain things. She, I was, I was supposed to become her um, follower, her disciple, and no it was too much, for me. too much for me. This is crazy. Is that is that true, Bob? What? Be her John John's disciple. Pardon? Be John's disciple. Is that what you said? That, yeah. That's that was that was the goal. And uh Carl, she worked I mean, the Volsta Techs were working right with her. I mean, it wasn't like they were, she was doing something rogue. Um the Melina was I and this is this is from ten years I it was this is like for 15, 10, 15 years. So it isn't like we, we did it for a couple of years. We did it for like over 10 years. Where wow. we were talking, Melina was very much talked about all the time. So I've been, I've been called a uh, fundamentalist faithist, a fundamental faithist, whatever that word is. But like, because I'm pretty strict on the, the teaching. So if anybody is off on those, I will speak, but I won't necessarily say you're wrong and you have to listen to me. It's more, you know, it's just, this is what yeah. it says. And then I won't go with the conversation or I'll just hang up the phone or, you know, whatever. I don't, I, you know, just, that's, I have my choices and they have theirs, but. Um, uh, the, the only thing I will fight you on is the priesthood thing. I, I don't think if you start I agree telling, with you. It says there's no more oh, priests. I agree. It, I think okay. the only thing it says I, is like the I guess God you're disagreeing about maybe what we disagreed was about um how to portray uh, uh, right. if somebody did become priests. Right. right. So I think what we're disagreeing is you're saying, well these people became priests, oh fine, it's not that great. Just let it go. And I'm saying, no, because other people are gonna get hurt if I do. I'm not going to. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, I, again, that's kind of like, I think my neighbor is going to hurt my son, so therefore I hurt my neighbor to stop him. That's preemptive well, stuff going in there. To not hurt them, but at least you'll try to stop them. You'll, you'll stop your son from going over there. You'll try to figure a way to keep them away from apart. No, no, I mean, still. It, even so, then, stealing fear in my son's bad. I mean, you know, it's just kind of like this whole. <sighs> The intent is a big one. When you have knowing where your intent is and aware of what your intent is, and stop yourself with the intent because generally your intent's not going to be it's bad or good. It's not. It's 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 a selfish thing. Does that make sense? I mean, that's yeah, why the old saying is, yeah, "Good intention still to be a path straight to hell." It's like that's the why because if it's 
I don't know. I, I, I don't have it all figured out. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, just, I, think, I think this is the classic dilemma of where um, you don't, there's not necessarily, if, where if you get, sometimes it's whether you walk away or whether you don't walk away. Well, it gives them the faith, right? You really want to be as big as the faith in the creator and everything's through the creator. Everything happens with the will of the creator, whatever it is. I mean, how bad or how good, right? So your will is where it starts to be bad. That's where the darkness is. You put your will forth, but you let it be. Right, and the creator, and you have faith. That's your will to choose faith. You're letting go. You're, that's a selfless act. You're, you know what I mean. You're, you're not putting think, your will in there. I, I think that's it's it's the yin yang passive active thing, where you can become more passive and just say, well, the creator's will be done. It's going to work out in the end, no matter what I do. Like you said, the person's the person may get really hurt that I didn't help. Inspiration. I'll be inspired to do something, but it never is anything violent or destructive. It's always creation. No, well, I, 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 if you've noticed, I'm not advocating violence. Sure, of course. All, all, I'm, all I'm advocating is to speak out against these people who, if, if someone wanted to privately say to themselves, I'm a priest in my own room or something, fine. But if you publicly proclaim yourself as Ruth and Burnham have, as Salah Salam has done, as Joan Greer has done, then I'm going to speak out against them. I'm not going to commit violence against them. Uh -huh. And I'm not going to stop them from doing what they want to do. They, I mean, they can preach all day and I'm not going to stop them one second, but I'm going to say something so people know that maybe they should be a little careful around them. That's all. Yeah, if that's what you feel you should do. Yeah. But, but I can also, I want to say, I respect your view, which is, you know what? It's a waste of energy. And it might create negativity if you try to speak out against them. I can I respect your view on that. Is that what it am, I, am I representing what you're saying? Yes. That's it, what you're it, saying. It, right? it, it's it is saying yes that that uh, it's not so much about me, but it's saying that I wish to be a part of something better, the Creator's will, and so therefore, me putting my will is not me being part of the Creator's will. That's my will. So it's, mm -hmm. that's also part of being selfish. So therefore, me being selfish and being the higher understanding I go by is I would not have my intent put forth. I stop myself from doing it. So it's like control over the self, mastery over the self. So therefore, I'm having faith. So I buy choices to have faith rather than not have faith. And generally, me having my will put forth, and I look at it for me, is my ego will find the best excuse possible, think I'm right no matter what, I've gone through it mathematically, I'm 100% right, I should do this with my will and then no, nope, not, not supposed to do it. And on top of that, whenever any choice made from fear is a bad choice, it doesn't matter. It's just kind of basic understanding. Yeah. Any choice made from fear, if you're aware that you've coming from fear then it's right so if you're in faith then you won't be making the choice from fear you know what i'm getting at <laughs> yeah, and I think, yeah that's that's a good point um am i acting out of fear well either that or concern for other people because I understand. That's a good place, it, sure. it could be that i'm acting out of concern for other people because i've seen people get harmed very badly uh, people have gone crazy. I, I can tell you names of people who have gone crazy through the, because they're involved with these people. It's because they draw on these dark spirits and you can't, you can't, they're so, they're in a pitiable state. So right. that's why I feel, that's why I'm so wired in this right now, guy, because I know the people, you, you have not had the same experiences as I've had where you've no, seen people suffering, suffering badly. So that's why I'm kind of like, well, I have to say something and but it, it here's the other thing it's not it could be your path to never have to say anything and i it's just your it's your choice and it's your path and it's going to work out great sure and i guess that's what i should add to what i'm saying that if someone feels that they're it's not their place to counter to um, counter argument or to uh, contradict someone who says they're a priest, they have the right to do that. And you're right, and it's, it's a good call. 
So what, you're, what you believe, what I think I should have said, and which I didn't, and I regret now, is that you're right to make the choices you made concerning that. But, but just saying, well, whatever. I'm not going to, I'm not going to debate. You know what I'm saying? You are right sure. to make your, what you, what everything you said is right for you. Yeah. Well, debate and argue is two different things, I think. You know, it's argue fun. is getting into like, yeah, it is, but I think debate can be respectful while arguing would be getting into like, you don't know what you're talking about. You need to listen to me. That, that, you know, that, that. so <laughs> Did, did, we cross, um, so you, did I cross the line? Did you cross no, the line? No, I, I, no, you just said debate when it came to like uh, challenging the authority of a priest. And I would say maybe it's, if it's a decent priest or a decent person, you know, uh, regardless, they would be able to debate. And if they're not, then they would want to argue and want to be right and have authority. So with your own discernment, you could kind of fill any person out, regardless of who they want to call themselves. And kind of, you know, it's a person by person judgment thing. You know, I could try. I was thinking earlier, like, you know, if we were to judge all the Christianity, which I guess you could, but like, let's say you don't want to judge the Methodists no, based I, off of what the Baptists I, do. You know what I mean? I, kind of, I mean, I, I'm walking around. I'm not walking. I like Christians. I like, I have Muslim friends. And, sure. Uh, so yeah, good, good people. And sure. I don't, I don't have animosity against people who are not pure faithists, you know, it's the opposite. I want to work with them. I want to help them. I want right. to like them. I want to be liked by them. I don't want to be their enemy. I want to be their friends and teacher and right. student and all that. Co well, I'm saying everybody, all the faiths have their own view, really. And it, and it really says in the Awaspi that everybody has their own personal <laughs> connection. We're all snowflakes in that terrible word, I know. But, you know, we're all fingerprints. We're all different. And way we experience this life is like we just says it in the wasp we really can't put ourselves behind another person's eyeballs and look out of them we can't put ourselves in another person's shoes but we should try as it says that we all we should try and that comes into compassion and, and empathy so you know coming from all that kind of spot place it's like you can kind of always really try to come from love and trying to it to to where you're coming from and trying to have a warning out there i respect that and i respect your viewpoint on however different it is from other faiths because it, it, it seems to be a pretty normal thing with us faiths <laughs> so yeah, <good>. uh, <laughs> you know? yeah and i've met a lot of good faith you know i'm not trying to say that all the people the red waspy are a bunch of crazy cultists either no, not, a, not at all i've met a lot of good people it's a world to be world at least. It's kind of makes I, us crazy. I, I, I traveled in my youth. I traveled and I lived in California and I met, I've met quite a few. Like I said, I've met the Elois. I've met Bell Sundgren's group. Oh, I've nice. met Irma Jean Lee. I went to visit her with another faithist. Um, I went Candy Candy Turner. I've, I've lived with them for a, a week or two, a couple of weeks. Can, Les and Candy Turner. I don't know if you know. They're not alive? Pardon? Les, Les is dead. That's where oh, a candy is where I did not like to visit. I did not like to visit. Well, that, I think that's how Bob feels the same way. But I still like her. Even though she made me mad. Like, um, we went over there. But she had We had a faithist meeting and we all went there. And then uh, there was like three of us, to get, three or four of us together. And we started reading a wasp together. We were reading the all is, all was, all ever shall be kind of thing. And we were mm. kind of like, uh, it's almost like a, we were kind of like uh, praying together. And Candy came over and she wasn't in the group, so she felt excluded or something. And she said, okay, y'all got to go. We just got there too. We traveled for hundreds mm. of miles. We just been there for like less than an hour. You've got to go. I don't know what the reason was. And so we said, okay. And we left. <laughs> we were like, what? We came this far? What happened? But I've also spent a week with her. Before that time, I spent a week with her and just hung out. And it wasn't that long. So, uh, I, she, and she warned me about a cultist, Mary Lou Brown. I flew out to visit Mary Lou Brown once, and uh, she told me to see a prostitute. And I said, well, I guess you're, and so I said, that's it. I know she's a fake prophet, so I left. And then... Candy Turner sent me a letter I was reading on the plane home, which 
and said, watch out for Mary Lou Brown. She's hurt a lot of people. So she warned me, which is what I'd want people to do. But the Cosman Voice didn't warn anybody about Mary Lou Brown. They, they, they published her propaganda in it without even a warning. So here was Mary Lou Brown, high priestess of the earth, whatever she called herself, and no one warned me. It wasn't even a single word about warning. So that's another reason I'm really big on warning now, Guy. Yeah. Uh, sorry for talking. What did, what about, is it just got, if we talk about candy, it's just gossip, right? So I don't know. I like her personally, but mm. she's, she's not stable, necessarily stable, stable person or anything. Yeah, that's how I feel. And her, her sons and her daughters, they, 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 they kind of fade away from everything she's teaching. But I, I do like her. She's got a good personality. She's been through a lot of suffering that I respect that. Yeah, I, I think she has love in her heart for people. And she, even if she makes some mistakes, like she, like she, she has some emotional stuff going on. Um, but I, and I still can say I like her. For what? That, <laughs> there's, there's no hate in me. She's not a priest, priestess. So, but right. Anyway, I, I don't. We're kind of drifting around now. So, anything else you want to say, guy? Is there anything else? You said a lot of good things, so. Ah, uh, you know, I'm good, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm glad to have had a chance to meet and talk with you. It's a real honor to have met you. And yeah, you I, too. I put you up one of the best faces I've met. You know. So until I got, unless we got to know each other more, then we'd probably change our opinion. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that's true about me too, um, guy. I respect. I respect you. Um, also, I think the Wapsie says in somewhere that by the tone uh, of their voice, you can also tell the grade of a person. And, you know, I... I'm 23. <laughs> What's that? I'm 23. My grade is 23. Oh, really? <laughs> I've been trying to get past 33 for a while now. And I oh, found out, like, that's the highest of a beast person. Like, if you're beast, oh. man, that's why 33 is the highest of, like, the Masons. Oh, okay. They, not, they get into understanding that, but that's what the Owasu explains. It's like, that's the highest. If you're the beast, man, and you're coming from the self, that's the highest you can get is 33. And I, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm probably boasting. I've just heard it. I've, it's like, it was yelled in my ear many, like many years ago. I was trying to go to sleep and it was just like, he's 33. Like it was just in my real fast in my ear. I'm like, ah, oh, what? Really? That's the only thing I figure. Yeah. Good. And like, I, I don't ever want to hear that again because it was so startling. It was so just in my head, you know. It sounds like a bad spirit. Yeah, it was. But I don't know how you look in. They can grade too if they're smart enough. Anti Jehovians can. They're smart. But they're also yeah, the, I, the whole the whole point of your numbers is like it's it's not a good thing to to to, to want to know True. your number. True. And again, I'm sure it fluctuates day by day. If you ask me, it's not. It's not. It's getting past the point and really being able to get up to the next rung and like. Uh, yeah, to, to desire yeah, progress know. is is to if anyone desires to promote themselves, it's it actually lowers yourself, doesn't it? Yeah. The well, the challenges are going to come. Without resistance, there's no growth. You know, I was really surprised at our last conversation, Bob. Were you talking about like it doesn't uh, uh, Jesus status didn't matter. I asked who status didn't matter. That, like I, I would never thought you would have said that. Said you what? Know? What did I say? You said you said Jesus says I E S U I S U I E S U Ah I E S U. That it doesn't like, matter. I, I still don't don't agree with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess what I was trying to say it's not a goal. It should not be your goal. My goal. It, it can be my goal and not your goal. Well, it was Brahma's goal. That's exactly what Brahma's goal was. It's because, guy's goal. It's guy's goal. Not is it your goal, guy? <laughs> uh, guy, that that's your goal. goal. It's you one of them. Sexless. <laughs> not, not sexless, but like service to others. That's no, what that's what I said is, sexless. <laughs> that's, a, that's a prophet before the Cosmon era, and there's no more prophets, so. Yeah, exactly. It's, 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 that's what I've tried to tell him. 
So don't don't even think about it is what I'm trying to say, really. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't think about it. It's 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 like it's it's in the past and you're you're it's not a good goal anyway. <laughs> is it? No. I, I feel like uh, I goal. It's a goal. Well, not a bad goal. <laughs> no sex. No sex for you, Matthew. I actually I am a virgin, by the way. Okay, well yeah. you can still be sex you still aren't but you're male. Yeah, you're trying to become neither male nor female. It says in the Awaspi that there's are those who are inspired to be celibate and those who aren't. Um, I mean, and there those would be want to have a family and stuff like that. So, who's the judge and who stands in between in that spectrum? You know, one you could choose to be celibate later in your life. You could be celibate and then not. You could be celibate your whole life. I mean. Um, but that's all, I, I don't know, that's, it really gets into inspiration, personal connection to the creator. Like, like what, do you, what, do you, what do you feel is best? Um, so, I've okay, uh, well, tried to understand it myself. So I don't look at it. Well, I was going to say is, what I was going to say is that there's a, the philosophy tries to teach is where we try to hear the, our own personal connection to the creator as a voice of the creator. And we can hear that voice, but it's through purity. And step one is not eating meat. Two is cleaning yourself every day. And three, also <laughs> trying to have clean thoughts so you can have a clean spirit, a soul full of love and tenderness. And then also abnegating from self, like four, five, it goes on. And it's just one of these, one of the many things, you know, of trying to obtain that. Uh, and it's personal. It's not like you're going to hear a booming voice out of the sky. It's more in the wind, the water, or through the animals. Or in music, it's flowers, all the or all the above. Uh, it, you know, uh, and I definitely have a personal connection with the Creator. Uh, it's grown Good. and it's it's more so than it used to be. And uh, mm -hmm. synchronicity is a big one. Like something's happening. And there's, like, there's a lot of reasoning if you can, if you're aware enough, kind of paying attention. Good and fine words. Thank you. Yeah, um, but I don't know. I think I lost track of what the whole point was. <laughs> Sorry about it. No, no, we're all rambling basically. No, I, I don't mean to cut. I don't mean to hurt your feelings or come down. Uh, be oppressive to you if you want. Oh, Isu, Isu, becoming an Isu. Why do you want to become an Isu? Or what's what? What's well, the allure? So I'm looking at it right now. Okay, Brahma. He wanted to become. And it's, and I'm not talking about a eunuch. I'm talking about a, a Jesus. Everybody's goal should be is, uh, um, this. I believe. I, I just told you that's what you do. And that faith is the best you can get. I've always wanted to be Superman myself, but found out faith is the best we can do. That's it. You want to save the world? Be a faith is go be served. A servitude, right? That's it. That. One, one I agree. Who, this is I what the Wapsi says. One who can hear the voice of the great spirit uh, is an Esu. Um, Don't uh, faith is, doesn't just a regular faith is hear the great spirit? I think I, 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 you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about. Um, Bob, I was just talking about hearing. Still thinks I mean uh, like a eunuch. I'm not talking about eunuch at, at all. Well, you know, hope, I hope this is what you're talking about, you about is prophet who had attain attain the sad woman, but. Those are bad example. <laughs> yeah, I maybe this is just for you, Matthew. I don't know what to say. I really feel like that's what you want to do. Then, if that's what motivates you, recognize this. Please recognize this. The unseen is potent, while the seen is impotent. So, where, what's coming to you and inspiration of this is not you. So. You know, and then if what you will understand is your highest understanding of whatnot. So, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, you might have a confliction there of, of you needing to make a choice rather than something outside of you making some kind of choice. But again, so, that's just a recognition of where things are coming from. So, Brahma attained Esu status. He never became a eunuch. Uh, Esu status is becoming one with the creator. Becoming one with the creator in, in thought um, in action. Um, you, you, you're, 
Okay, Bob, I'll leave you clueless the rest of your life. You should be clueless. Huh? What does that mean? You don't have to. You don't have to detain ASU status. Just no, no. I, I, I said if you, maybe maybe that's something that is for you to do. Maybe that's. I don't. I'm not going to. I'm not going to chop off my thing. I'm no. I didn't say you should. No. I didn't that's, even, do you that's think not you're the, going to? I'm, I'm talking about it's a spiritual status. It's a spirit. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I knew you were talking about a spiritual state of oh, being. Okay, good. Okay, good. Well, how about how about it's about purity and a lack of sex might be about purity. Yeah. And then yeah, you will I, I that's what it is. whatever that is. I really th I think what guy said is basically a good point. Because it says in the philosophy, that's what you will potentially again. Like some people are born with it and they lose it and they can gain it back, and some people get it later in their elderly years, right? And some people never right. gain it and they get it now. So, you know, it, it, that's a part of purity. It's like the first thing I was saying, step one, you wash yourself every day, don't eat meat, step two, step three, you know, that, those, it says it all in there. And it, every prophet seems to say it all the way to Moses. Right? Um, these are the things you're supposed to do. And then it's been clarified in the philosophy to obtain, to hear the, the voice of the creator, to be one with the will of the creator, and then yeah, I mean, commune with spirits. That's what you're trying to do. Commune with spirits. That's all. I sues whatever. I, yeah, they the naturally hear the voice of the spirits. Right. That's like Not seek guidance. Commune. And again, that's going to be done in a community. Not by yourself, if you ask me. If you haven't done it already. Right. Ceremony and ritualistic stuff. Not in a bad way. <laughs> oh, oh. Did, did you I'm want very to... careful with all that stuff too. I don't partake in anything. I haven't partaken in one ceremony or ritual since I've been a faithist because I know better. It has to be right. And if it's not right, I'm not a part of it. Mm. And I'll feel like it it's right too. That's it. I didn't expect to hear you say that, but I'm glad. It, I think that's a good view. I like that viewpoint anyway. Well, I know you're trying to warn me, and I want you to let you know where I am on all that. I've faithed, I'm, the creator has led me pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. I've ridden sports bikes and outrun motor, outrun cops many, many, many times, way too many times, you know, and just lived and just I've done some crazy things. It's just like here I am, and like I'm supposed to be here. Brought a son on this earth. Next thing, it's like, okay, you're, you're like some sort of guy from California. You know, I really want to see what you look like. Uh, I'll see what my I band with. <laughs> no, it's too dark. No, you wouldn't see me. I don't, uh, Hurt. Yeah. I don't care what you look like, guy. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> That's like, what is that? That's like a light of some kind. It's the moon. I'm outside. Oh, you are. You're. <laughs> You've been dwelling outside by the moon. Oh, I'm, uh, yeah. It must be pretty close to a full moon. Maybe tomorrow it looks like. It's close. Look. Well, I got to get going. I hey. think we've talked talked out on this. So nice to meet you, Guy. Thank you very much, Matthew, for arranging this. Yeah. Yeah, I think it yeah, helped a lot, actually. And I think you guys are, are, are officially bonding. Yeah, we got through all the hiccups. Yeah. Speed bumps. Okay. I, I generally, that's how I become friends with people is when I, I just get all the bad stuff out of the way. Okay. <laughs> sure. That's, there's nothing else to really 